Kittens. My name is Salty Tabby, and uh, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. So, uh, I was going to do some training for our peoples in between episodes, uh, but they, it wouldn't let me. It literally, the game went, no, you can't do that. You have to go on the expedition. So, uh, we gotta go on the expedition. <laughs> So what I'm going to do um, is, real quick, we're just going to go get some useful-ish items, things that we may need. I don't know what we're going to need, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll, we'll head over and talk to Chadot. Can't bring anyone else with me. It's just the two, just me and Amp, the two uh, amigos. Let's see. No, Miss Kangaskhan. Uh, like, wait, I want to store some things first. Store. We're not gonna need either of those, which is sad but true. Fetch a berry. Three orange berries. That should be fine. Let's see, sleep seed, stump seed, warp seed. Get rid of that. The escape orb. Store those things. Yes. Else? Yes. Yes. Um, I've got so many scarfs. So we should take one of these and sell them. We don't need. Yeah. Big apple. We should take a big apple. One more one berry. We should get. Least we have look, we have quite a few reviver seeds. We should take two of them and then another max elixir. That should be good, right? We'll see. Oh, I feel like we've still got too much stuff, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. It should be all right. Let's go uh, see what's going on here. Oh no, I didn't want to buy. Toxic. That's a good move. We could get that and give it to, uh... Oh, I don't remember even her name. Wow, that's really sad. She was removed from the party and now her name's completely out of my mind. Our, our Grimer friend. <sighs> Lost it. Alright, let's sell this. Yes. Yes. Alright. Um, let's see if he has anything of interest. Nope. Okay. Then we put away the monies we've got. For safekeeping. Hello. Uh, store. There. Yes. We have a decent amount of money. I could get a TM, but I, I don't want to, like, break our bank in case we need anything, you know? Alright, now let's save and continue, and then we go talk to Chadot. It's about we can, what we can do. Audio's a little low. Or... Nope, it's just me. <laughs> My headset was turned down. Okay. Hi, Chadot! Oh, are you all ready for the expedition? The expedition will be a long journey, so you should stock up on items. Are you sure you're ready to go? Well, now that you say that, no, I'm not, but... Heck it! Heck it! Incidentally, you may not bring members of your team that aren't members of the guild. Understood? I know. Good. You appear to be in full readiness. When the other apprentices assemble, I shall commence the briefing. Until then, just wait. Okay. We're all here. All accounted for, it appears. Well then, let me explain about this expedition. First, the objective. Exploration of Fogbound Lake. Fogbound Lake? Correct. It is a lake that is said to be located to the far east. 
However, it is perpetually enshrouded by a dense fog. As such, its actual existence has never been confirmed. It is merely a foggy mirage of a spot that lives to this day on rumor alone. It is also rumored a treasure of exquisite beauty is hidden there. Wow! Treasure? We're going on a treasure hunt? This is so exciting! Aww, yeah, I'm so excited. Yep, it'll be fun, fun, fun! <laughs> Everyone, please open your wonder maps. First of all, this is where Fogbound Lake is said to be. Wow, way over there. That's really far. Dang. As an uncharted territory, the area is shown under a cloud cover. Yeah, we're way over there. Our guild is here. As you can see, the lake is at a considerable distance from the guild. Therefore, we will encamp at the foot of the highlands here. That will serve as our base camp. If we were to travel all at once in a single group to the base camp, our mobility would be restricted. The strategy is to split up into several groups to travel to the base camp. Ah. I shall announce those groups now. The first group is Sunflora, Loudred, Diglett, and Krogunk. You guys better not hold me back. You should talk. The next group is Dugtrio, Chimeco, and Corfish. We're a solid group. I promise to try my best. Hey, 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 likewise. Um, let's see. The Guildmaster and I shall travel in as a pair. That is acceptable, yes? Oh, I have to go with Wigglytuff. I have to go with Chatot. That's so boring. Please don't be difficult. This is a key element of our strategy. Meanie. Our guests, Team Skull, should travel independent of us as their own group. Understood. Ja. And the final group is Amp, Tabby, and Bidoof. Oh, we're having Bidoof with us. We're in the same group. I hope I can keep up. Yup, yup. <laughs> same here, Bidoof. Well then. Everyone, let's get to it and move out. Hooray. Let's go. Bidoof's going to be with us. And thus, the guild exploration party began making its way toward Fogbound Lake. Hmm? According to plan, the party was split into designated groups. And Tabby, Amp, and Bidoof's group plotted its course. The group settled on a route along the sea coast to reach the base camp. Hmm. Save. Yes. Yes. Save completed. The Guild's Big Expedition, Chapter 7. Woohoo! Whoa. Wow! The sea is right up this way, Tabby! Just look at this cliff! Yup, yup, I reckon this is looking more and more like a true expedition. The path ahead is surely will get tricky. Just what real explorers like to see. And this, this here is something well known to all of ex us explorers. It's a Kangaskhan rock. Kangaskhan rock? Yes, sir, you heard right. There's a Kangaskhan rock. A Kangaskhan rock lets you stow and take out items. It lets you save a record of your progress. Oh, that's useful. It's a real big help to travelers. Well, I haven't had much of a chance to use Kangaskhan rocks. I reckon I, sh I should ought to talk like a big shot. I just wanted to say again that, that this here's my first expedition. I'm feeling kind of nervous, by golly. <laughs> that goes for us, too. We're all beginners at this. Let's just do our best. Let's check the Wonder Map. Our present location is here. We're supposed to link up with everyone at the base camp. It's way over here. So as a first step, we could try reaching this spot. Want to try, want to try reaching here as our first objective? Yup, yup, I agree with that. Amp is acting like a leader. I didn't notice it before. It must be the excitement from exploring what that's bringing it out. But Amp, who was so timid before, is trying so much harder. 
Yes. Amp is getting stronger and more confident bit by bit. I'm proud of him. He's doing so good. Oh, huh? Huh? Problem? If you look closely here, there are two entrances. Huh? Now that's mighty vexing. What do we do, Tabby? Which way should we go? Um, so... I have a vague memory of this. And that, like, every time you took the side path, you would just end up back at the beginning. So always take the one that's, like, the fancy name. Craggy Coast. Okay, Craggy Coast it is! All right now. Let's all three work as one and get this done. Yeah. Craggy Coast, floor one. It's a water type Pokemon, that should be pretty easy for Amp. We have Bidoof with us, who's also the same level as us. That's good. At least that means we know we're around the right level. Unless they automatically put him at our level. I don't know how that works. Can I, like, quick attack from here, or... Let's see. Yeah, I can. Oh, he can mudslap from there, too, though. Oh, don't like that. Stop that. Gastrodon. Quite like Gastrodon. Big slug friend. Sleeping Krabby. Oh. Awake Krabby. Oh, nice headbutt, Bidoof. Good job. Ooh, a reviver seed. That's going to be useful. You can always use more reviver seeds. Stairs. Let's go. <gasps> a Dratini! Oh, I want that as a friend. We'll have to come back through here on something. I don't know. I want to come back through here and get that as a friend. Whooped it, though. Destroyed it. A Dragonite would be a fantastic member to the party. Of course, then again, <laughs> we can't really evolve anything yet. It's, it's, I understand why. It's so that, um, all of the tiles for, like, facial expressions and stuff for the game. Um, oh gosh. Ow. Uh, stay as one of the ones that they are set to. Like, you know, uh, I'm Riolu and Amp is Pikachu. They have all of the correct expressions for the game for those Pokemon. But not for their evolutions. They don't have the expressions for Lucario or Raichu for all of these different situations added into the game. Or at the very least, if they do, they haven't utilized them. And I just feel like it also, they might be trying to keep the game from being too easy if you evolve. And also, you know, Riolu and Pikachu would evolve through French or through friendship and stone. Whereas something like Charmander would, would evolve at level 16. So it's kind of hard to balance that. So I understand why they haven't kept until after. I just still really want to write you as my favorite Pokemon, you know? And Luc Lucario is way better with the steel typing than he is his Riolu, which is just pure fighting. Ooh, what is that? I can't get it. It's in the water. Heck, glitter box. Well, whatever it is, it's trapped there forever. Unfortunate. This is what happens when we don't have a water Pokemon on our team. If I was a water Pokemon, I could go get it, but I'm not. I'm a scuffy little Riolu. Stun seed. Ooh, an apple. Give me the apple. Apple. Just gonna make sure we... Ooh, another Gastrodon. Hello. Yes. So we can't actually uh, make any friends in this, because we're doing the expedition. If we want to make friends in, in this dungeon, we'll have to come back through it after the expedition's already over. And we have the ability to take friends with us again. Which, you know, sucks, but, you know, what you gonna do? Alright, stairs. I wonder how long the craggy coast is. I was trying to position it so Amp could get there, but Bidoof did it anyway. Wingull is four times weak to electricity, so that flying wa uh, water typing really wrecks it. 
when it comes to electricity. Hello! Whap! Right in the face. Not very effective, and yet! And yet I beat it up. Hello, Krabby! I like Krabby. They walk sideways and go cookie cookie. Like they're saying cookie. Uh oh, I ran out of force bombs. Right, well, time to set for bite. Yowch. Chomp, 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 chomp. Alright. Oh, I was not paying attention and there was a whole Krabby there. Oh, nice job, Imp. The follow up. White gummy. What is white gummy? Normal types. Ah, I see. If we had like an Eevee or something, that'd be useful. We don't, though. I'm sure I could find one later. If we wanted to add one to the team. <laughs> yes. And go. It's a ways at this craggy coast. The dungeons will get longer and longer as we progress the game. Eeh. Shock it? Nope. You do it. He went for the quick attack. That's okay. It's okay. Celio, though. I like Sfeel. Sfeel's very cute and round. Ah! Whoa! Hidden stairs? Be sure? Secret bazaar? Uh... Hello. Good afternoon and congrats, congrats, you found the secret bazaar. I'm Curlia, the bazaar guide. Feel free to explore the shops here. Okay. Hee <laughs> hello. This is Mime Junior Spa. Just for 100 Poke, I'll restore your HP, power points, and even your belly. What do you think? Would you like a try? No, thank you. Oh, you're gonna leave? Come back anytime you feel like relaxing. The heck is this place? Hello. Hello, and welcome, explorers. I've got a, some wonderful, wonderful grab bags here. You never know what's inside. Try one and see. Only a hundred p to find out what's inside. No thanks. What is all this? Hello. Boo, blue. You have items that have gotten sticky. I'll clean the items in your trash. Tresser bag for 100. I don't have any sticky items. What? Come back anytime your items have gotten get sticky. It's that tongue thing. Hello. I'm Shidenda and Shidenja, the escape guide. I know a secret way out of the dungeon. If you give me 100p, I'll show you a way out of the dungeon. No, thank you. Alright then. Come find me if you ever want to escape from the dungeon. Uh, I don't really need any of this, but I do. I'm curious about the grab bag. We could get one of those. Hello and welcome, explorers. I've got some wonderful, wonderful grab bags. Yes. And here's your wonderful, amazing grab bag. Orenberry. That's it. Okay, whatever. Thank you. This was strange. I don't think I've actually ever found that before. I wonder how rare that is. Or maybe I'm just extremely unlucky. I don't ever remember having seen that. Hm. Oh, we made it! Phew, by golly, I reckon we're finally through. Yes, but we still have a long ways to go before the base camp. Let's check the wonder map. Our present location is here. The base camp is here. I reckon we got ourselves a lot closer. We're nearly there. If we cross this mountain, we'll reach the base camp. Oops, that was my belly growling. <laughs> That's two. If we start climbing the mountain now, I think it'll be night before we finish. Do you want to call it a day? We can rest here tonight. I agree completely. And let's eat. Yeehaw! <laughs> the next morning. Alright, gang, we have to get moving.
crossing this mountain is going to take us to the base camp. Yup, yup. Let's get it, get it done. Alright. Uh, don't need that many apples. We'll put one of these reviver seeds away and two of these stun seeds. And one of two of these horn berries. And that white gummy. There we go. Now, save. Yes. Alright. Now let's go. Are you ready, Tabby? All set. Which way should we go? Mount Horn, not the rock path. Alright, Mount Horn it is. Alright, let's roll out. The more intimidating it sounds, that's the, usually the correct way to go. Funny enough. Proceed. This is where I'll be more useful. Actually, I should probably switch. But uh, we can keep on bite. Bite's fine for now. Seed. Sleep seed. Shroomish. I like shroomish, actually. Shroomish and Breloom are quite nice. Hey, and Parasect. We've got the Spore Pokemon here. There's Fungus Among Us. Cherry Berry. Oink. Now for the stairs. Ooh, that's a- whoa, those are some bugs. Hello. Eh. Okay. We're gonna... Quick attack. There we go. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. It's okay. Amp's got it. Yeah, Amp took it out. Easy peasy. Oop, there's another one. Wanna help, buddy? Yeah, I mean, okay, that's not what I meant, but sure, that'll work. He does what he wants. Sunseed. There's a Pokemon up there. It's another butterfly. Get it, Amp. Yeah! 80. Woo! That super effective really uh, does the job. Roll call orb. Mm. Don't really need that. Alright. Stairs. Whoa. This is a big room. Oh, there's a gummy. Great gummy. Hello. That was super effective on you. You can't actually hit me. Uh, you don't have to do that, Bidoof. It's fine. It can't hit us. Well, it can, but we're gonna leave. <laughs> Bye, Cascoon. Oh, there's a... Okay, you can you can deal with that, right? Yeah, you can deal with that. Yeah. And... Oh, I missed. Oh, you've got it. Oh, apparently not. Ow. It cringed. Uh, okay. Oops. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. See, look at that. Easy peasy. Oh, Amp is at level 15. Why did I not notice that? I thought he was at 14, same as me a minute a minute ago. I might be delusional. Oh, Beatif grew to level 16. What is this happening without me paying attention? Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine that I'm behind. Probably. Maybe I just take more experience to level up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Tabby Girl to level 15. New move. Faint. Eh, I'm good. Eh. Oh, wait. Yes. I'm good without that. Ooh, monies. One monies. Two monies. we should be nearing the top of this soon. Something over here. Apple. Apple. Here we go. Not horn floor ten. Oh, hello. Venomoth. Nice. Alright. Uh, another Venomoth. Eh. 
Oh, I missed. That's not good. Disabled me. I can't move. Ugh. Let me move. Okay, there we go. Not a fan. Ooh, band. Power band. And warp orb. Power band we can sell. Those itches. It's always right when I'm recording. I'm telling you, my nose does not this itch this m Oh my gosh. That's an aerodactyl. Yeah, just don't don't hit me normally. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Those things are scary. They are fast and they hit really hard. Oh, there's more. We're gonna leave. Mm hmm Get the heck out. Aerodactyl picked up 83 poke. Well, we're not getting that back. Oh. Hello, Bonsley? Uh, Amp, why did you do that? I guess it's fine. This thing's dangerous. It could explode. Oh, we're out of bites. Hold on. We're gonna set that, but we're gonna use quick attack because the bite is not very effective. Or, uh... Force Palm, thank you. It took me a minute to remember what it was called. It's not very effective on bugs. Oh no. Does this hurt you? Okay, it does. Ooh, we did get that Poke. I lied. <laughs> mm, hit you with a quick attack from here. Ha! Ah. Let's see. Eh, it still does okay damage. Oh wait, we missed an item back there. Excuse me, there's some money up here I want. E. Sleep seed. Okay. There's the stairs. Okay. Butterfly. I like Beautifly. I know a lot of people like Dustox more. I don't know. I think Dustox is better in battle, but I think Beautifly is just... I like it how it looks better. It's very appealing to look at. It's very pretty. A lot of people are like, oh, it's just another Butterfree. And I'm like, no, it doesn't look anything like Butterfree. Just because it's a butterfly. It looks totally different. It's way more colorful. It's got the long, long... proboscis thingy, whatever it is. Oh, I missed. Yeah. There's several moth Pokemon, and nobody complains about that. I'm complaining about it now. Heck off. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Hmm. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll let Amp handle it. You resist flying. I do not. I am weak to that severely. <laughs> In fact, that might have killed me if it had hit me. <laughs> Chapter 8. Groudon's Heart. Ooh. Huff, huff. We did it. We're, we got over Mount Horn. We finally made it, yes sirree. We've arrived at the base camp. Howdy folks, sorry to keep you all waiting. You are all late. Everyone else arrived a long time ago. Uh, go set your equipment down. Make haste. Now that everyone's assembled, let's go on with our strategy briefing. Yeah, yes, sirree. Mm hmm? What's wrong, Tabby? This is a weird sensation. I don't know what I'm feeling this way. What way are we feeling? What's going on, bud? I... Wait a second, I know this place. We do? Have I been here before? Have we? Maybe? Does it have something to do with me? Before I lost my memory? Come on, come on! We haven't got all day! Let's go, Tabby. We're remembering things. Ahem. Attention, please. It appears everyone has arrived at our base camp safe and sound. We shall now proceed to the, to the exploration of Fogbound Lake. As you can see, we are in a densely forested area. Somewhere within this forest, Fogbound Lake is supposedly concealed. But so far, it has been nothing more than a rumor. 
exploration teams of all stripes have mounted many a challenge. But so far, this lake has eluded discovery. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, so is it really there or what? This fog-bound lake? Silly corefish. You'll wreck that the dream if you say something like that. Yeah, don't spoil things now. Hey, hey. Um, ma'am? Um, while we were traveling, I heard about a certain legend. A legend, you say? Yes, a legend about Fogbound Lake. According to the legend, Fogbound Lake is home to a Pokemon named Uxie. The rare Pokemon, or the Pokemon is said to be exceedingly rare. Uxie is said to lock eyes with others and wipe their memories clean. What? Wipe their Oh. Us, maybe. That's why, even if travelers were to happen about a upon Fogbound Lake, Uxie would wipe their memories clean, thereby muzzling the travelers from revealing the existence of the lake. And that's how Uxie protects Fogbound Lake. I was told such a legend remains. Golly, that's pretty hair a pretty hair-raising tale. What do I do if my memories wipe clean? I don't think you have much to worry about. After all, you're so forgetful anyway, you make me go eek! Ahem. You should realize that places of this sort can be expected to have a folk tale or a legend attached to them. Our guild has overcome difficult challenges and obstacles when conducting successful explorations. Absolutely! Eek! It's our first guild has earned the rep that's how our guild earned the reputation of for being first class. <laughs> Don't worry, everything will be all right. Let's believe in success for this adventure too and let's try. Let's try. Let's move on with our plan. The guildmaster and I shall remain here to gather intelligence from our teams in the field. You are to go off in teams to explore the forest. Be aware that this forest is enshrouded in a deep fog. Once you enter it, visibility will be severely restricted. We think that Fogbound Lake has defied discovery because of this fog. Perhaps there is a way of lifting the fog. Therefore, your search is twofold. One, search for Fogbound Lake. And two, find a way to lift the fog. If you accomplish either thing, return to the base camp and tell me or the guildmaster. That's all. All right, everyone. Let's give it our best as always. Hooray! Let's try our best! It'll be nice if we make a discovery or two. We'll find the lake, I'm sure of it. I'll be first to find it. Dad, do you think maybe Fogbound Lake is underground? I was thinking we should try looking around. Ah, uh, my son, my pride and joy. You make me proud. Let's look underground. Okay, everyone, we're off. Hey, 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 we can't afford to dawdle either. Yup, yup, we need to hurry. Well done, we should go too, hmm, boys? <laughs> yeah! Whoa, ho, ho. I don't like them. Let's go, Tabby. We need to hurry. I know this place. According to the legend, the Pokemon Uxie can wipe them clean the memories of others. Are these two things really a coincidence? Hmm. Maybe I came here before I lost my memory. Then maybe I met Uxie. Then he wiped my memory clean. Could that have happened? Hey, Tabby! Huh? Why do you keep drifting off like that? It's not like you. Let's hurry and go into the forest. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I had some stuff on my mind, apparently. All right. Um, we're gonna save here. I think that's where we'll leave it off for now. Next time, we will explore the forest and see if we can find found Fogbound Lake. Yeah. Um, let's see. Tabby's cat tip of the day today. Uh, have you ever seen your cat snoozing somewhere and just gone and laid down next to them? It's always such a nice thing, feeling cuddled up to take a nap with your pet. It's a great way to bond. And it's a nice way to take a little break. And usually, if they like you, and they're not worried about being disturbed, or you, you know, bother them while they're sleeping, then they don't mind the company. It's a nice way to, you know, be connected. So yeah, 
I hope you all have a wonderful day, cats and kittens, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.